done a glam makeup look in so long. I've been doing super, super natural and simple makeup. So I'm kind of excited to go full out. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And blend. So I woke up extremely early today because I went to the lake on a friend's boat. So Reese and I woke up at 5 a.m. and then we were at the lake by 6 30 and then we got back here around like 10 and then when i got back i took a nap for two hours and then i just woke up and decided to get ready and film a video because i don't want to be lazy all day but actually taking naps for me makes me way more tired like it doesn't i don't wake up feeling energized and like oh i just took a nice nap and now i'm not tired anymore i wake up feeling so tired and then i'm tired for the rest of the day so like I know that I shouldn't take naps but I was so exhausted and I was just so comfy and just floated off to dreamland. Now I'm going to go on to contour and I've been doing it a bit different lately. You may have seen like my previous makeup videos but for those of you who are new this is my all time favorite contour trick. I start where my natural structure is so if I suck in like this I just follow this line. Also, I bring it up into the cheek so it kind of just lifts and defines and then I bring it down here to the jaw. Blend that all in. I also put it under my nose as you guys know and then on top of my lip and then the bottom of my lip to blend it. Alright, so I'm going to take the blush now. This is the same as the contour stick it's like a three set little thing that i got the other day at cvs i made a whole video on that as well affordable drugstore makeup so check that out i'll leave it linked below i'm just going to put this on the apples of my cheeks and up time for powder i'm going to use the maybelline fit me powder i have been powdering so much lately i used to not powder at all and it has honestly changed my face so much and made such a huge difference in my makeup routine. I don't know how I didn't do it before, but it's a lifesaver now. It just gets rid of all those dark shadows that are casted in places I don't want. That is my base complete minus my highlighter. I'm going to do that at the end, I think. So let's start to get into the eyes. I have no idea what I want to do, but I am going to use this palette that I haven't used in so long. It's been up in my closet and I haven't touched it in like... A year this is the Paris Hilton eyeshadow palette that's all it says really really beautiful and there are really pretty colors in here like I said I have no idea what I want to do so I'm trying to think of what colors I even want to use I'm just gonna start with the shade and I guess I'm just gonna put that on my eye and see how it goes <coughs> bless me I'm gonna wing this up because I haven't done like a wing shape in so long I'm going to take a fluffy brush and dip into the same shade and use the brush instead to smoke it out a bit. I forgot how much that color makes green and blue eyes pop. Time for the other eye. I'm going to take this shade, this like a yellowy gold color, and I'm going to put that on the lid. I'm gonna put that in this corner and then drag it a little bit under. I'm just blending those two colors together. I'm gonna take this darker shade and go on the outside. I'm gonna go back with my concealer and just clean it up a bit. I'll add some smoky liner so I'll take this shade right over here at the end and an angled brush okay I actually think that looks really pretty I'm glad I added that little wing it definitely completes the look okay I think that finally completes the eyeshadow so I'm going to do my brows now using this e.l.f. 
brow pencil in shade taupe. I haven't really been going too crazy with my brows. I kind of just brush them up. I'm gonna curl my lashes and then do my mascara. This is the Maybelline Big Shot Volume Express. And then this eyelash curler I got from Tarte many, many years ago. I've used this eyelash curler the whole time I've been doing makeup, pretty much. I've never used any other eyelash curler. So I hope she lasts me. Wow, I have not had this much eye makeup on in so long. I look like a whole new woman. I'm gonna take this oh, Revlon Colorstay Longwear Lip Liner in shade Nude. I'm actually gonna take my contour stick and put that on top of my lips. I'm going to add a little bit of this Maybelline lip gloss. Last step is highlighter. This is the third highlighter to the three contour set from LA Girl. And there we have it. This is the finished look. It was so fun to do this look. This is like such a beautiful look for fall also. I love these rose gold orangey tones. They are so so beautiful. Like I honestly forgot how much I love this palette. I want to use this every single day for fall now. I think this is going to be my go-to fall glam. I don't know where you can get this palette. I got it at Marshalls or Ross but I mean if you look up online Paris Hilton palette you may be able to find it i am very happy with my makeup and now i'm going to go take a million selfies and photos thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial i love you guys so much let me know what kind of videos you want to see next do you want to see more makeup looks and if so what kind of makeup looks do you want to do like crazy colors more natural let me know what you guys want to see and i will do it for you don't forget to like this video if you did don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow me on my instagram for daily content at leeward the point and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.